Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakas. I'm back with another video. In this video, I will tell you guys how to calculate the chemical quantity required for your chilled water system. So let's start. Here I have made an Excel sheet for chilled water system volume calculation. Before starting the calculation, I will explain you why chilled water for chilled water system chemical is required. Why do we need to put the chemicals? So we need to put the chemical because uh, we need to prevent the system from corrosion, scaling, fouling and microbiological growth. We are doing this basically in three ways. First uh, the chemicals react with the pipes to form a protective thin inside layer. Second the chemical help in maintaining the pH level and third the chemical remove the corrosive dissolved oxygen in the water. So we are using the dosing pumps to supply the chemicals in the chilled water system. Uh, I will show you over here in the drawing. There I have one drawing for the chiller yard. There you can see that we have uh, four chillers over here. One, two, three, four. And this is the chemical dosing pot installed over here. Let me zoom in. So as you can see that this is the chemical dosing pot. Uh, we are using automatic and manual chemical dosing pot over here so basically these uh, dosing pots with the dosing pumps are used to supply the predetermined quantity of the chemicals at regular intervals so as you can see that is how this chemical dosing pot is connected with the chilled water lines this is our basically chilled water supply line that is coming from the chillers a chilled water supply and this is our bypass line and uh, this chilled water is basically supplying from the chillers into the secondary chilled water pumps here there are three secondary chilled water pumps and then this chilled water is supplying from here to the buildings and similarly this uh, chilled water is coming back to the chillers from the buildings through these lines and then going into the primary chilled water pumps and through this primary chilled water pumps it's returning back to the chillers and the whole process repeats so this is our chemical loading part installed over here as you can see that so let's start the calculation over here so this is the excel sheet first you have to write uh, all the piping you have used in our in your project over here all the dials from your drawings and then you can convert this into radius this one in inches and uh, this column same radius and is, it is in meter you can use the conversion to convert this in meter so this is all the piping we have used in our project that is 1.25 inches to 14 inches so you have to calculate the area of the pipe for 1.25 inches similar it's like uh, by R square you can calculate the area of the pipe for each and every dia so let's move to the next column that is pipe length you can get this pipe length from your drawings so 1.25 inches dia we have used 130 meter in our project and 3.5 inches we have used 90 meters and 8 inches we have used 30 meters and 14 inches we have used 20 meters so all of the lengths are given here so uh, now we have to calculate the volume for this uh, pipe so uh, we know that area of the pipe is here length is here we just need to multiply this column with this column we'll get the total volume to 1.25 inches the pipe which we have used in our project in the same way you have to use for all of the pipes which you have used in our project 14 inches same way you need to multiply area times length and you will get the volume through 14 inches pipe which you have used in our project with 20 meter length that is 1.99 cubic meters so now you have to sum all of these volumes and you will get 11.89 cubic meter volume that you have used in your project so the total chilled water volume which we have calculated is 11.89 cubic meter so now we are going to use some safety factor that is 20% so 
so we need to get the 20% of 11.89 so that is 2.37 cubic meter the total chilled water volume becomes now is 14.7 simply 11.89 plus 2.37 so it is 14.27 cubic meter now the chemical which we are using over here is corrosion inhibitor that is A0029 and the second one is microbiocide A2400 so this is a uh, uh, file from uh, water buried chemical treatment is one of the reputed company in UAE so we are going to use the chemicals provided by this water uh, this water buried chemical treatment company so this is uh, A0029 corrosion inhibitor chemical as you can see that the concentrated liquid blend of corrosion inhibitor designed to control the beating and corrosion a closed chill water system and hot water system it will protect all commonly found in closed system from corrosive attack i will send you this file and you can read it yourself so the main thing uh, the dosage rate for a0029 system how much is the dosage rate recommended by water bird chemical treatment they are recommending 3 kg per cubic meter of system volume is required for your chilled water system. So A0029 corrosion inhibitor we needed 3 kg per cubic meter of system volume. As you can see that the chilled water volume which we have calculated over here is 14.27 cubic meter. So 1 cubic meter required 3 kg as per recommendation of uh, water bed chemical treatment. So how much chemical we need for our system because we have 14.27 we simply need to multiply this quantity with this quantity so we need for our system is 42.81 kg of A0029 corrosion inhibitor chemical similarly we have another chemical we are using over here this is recommended by a water bird chemical treatment that is microbiocide A2400 and this is a description and advantages so the dosage rate recommended by water bird chemical treatment is 100 ml per cubic meter of system volume so our system volume is uh, same 14.7 we just need to multiply this 14.7 with 100 because 1 cubic meter requires 100 ml so 14.27 multiplied by 100 will get the chemical needed for our chilled water system that is 1427.28 ml of microbiocide A2400 is needed for our system, chill water system. So this is how you can calculate the quantity of the chemical required for your chill water system. And uh, we are using this uh, dosing pumps to supply these uh, chemicals into our chill water system. I hope you guys find this video useful. Please like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos keep watching my channel.